Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady, in my little position. Ah, it feels like forever since we've sat in this naughty position. I'm so, so excited. So I've got myself a little treat. Um, it is going to need a bit of work, which is actually something that also really excites me. Um, oh my God, it's been packed so well. I don't, I don't even know if I can get in it. <laughs> they put so much tape on it, which is a really good sign, but uh, it's hard to get into. Just bear with me a moment while I, um, I try and get the, the box open. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm really concentrating. <laughs> I can't get the box open. Right, hang on, let me just get the box open. Right, we finally got in the box. I really struggled. Right, we're in. Okay, so back to the box. Ta -da! Bag of me, not box. So let's get the little bag out. Very, very, very excited. It feels like it's so long ago since we bought a handbag. So they've packed it beautifully. Um, so it is a piece of Louis Vuitton. And it's an old piece from 2000. Um, so there we go. Ta -da! So that's it. So it is dirty and it has got a stain on the bottom. But I have um, sorted out some like leather care to try and uh, bring it back to life. Because as you know, I love doing up handbags. So it is old. The handle's slightly squidgy, but. No, the handles are okay, so that's it. Um, it's an Alma PM. Um, the zips all seem good. So that's the bag. Um, I've had an Alma PM before, so they're like a medium size. They're not big and they're not small. So they are like a lovely medium sort of size. Um, the zips are all good. And then, oh, she's put, me some, she's put me some chocolate in. So I've got some uh, chocolate. That's very kind, isn't it? I've got, I presume this is the padlock in here. Yeah, there's the original padlock with a key. I love these padlocks, they're so lovely. And then she's even put me a little card in. A big thank you. Jane, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your new bag. Stay safe and healthy. Best wishes. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's so nice. So, as you can see, the zip's a bit um, tarnished. So, eventually, when I get all my cleaning products together, I'm going to polish the the zip, the little studs. I'm going to put some leather care on the bottom because you can see the leather is all like dry, and you really can bring them back to life. It's amazing with a bit of leather care and stuff, what you can actually do with them. Um, but to say this bag is um, 20 years old, which I can't even believe I'm saying a bag from 2000 is vintage because 2000 seems like last year. <laughs> How can that be 20 years ago? But it is. So um, I think it's now classed as vintage. Obviously, if you go back to the 90s and the 80s, they're really vintage. But I still think this is sort of beginning to get a bit vintagey for a 2000 bag. Um, so the Alma PM, like I say, it is medium size. So you can sort of hold it in your hand. You can go crook of your arm quite comfortably in the crook of your arm. They're so light, they don't weigh hardly anything. So they're, they're a pleasure to carry. They don't annoy you or hurt your arm. But also with this bag, um, they do have an extra little loop there and on the opposite side there. So you can actually attach a long strap if you've got a spare long strap or you can buy fancy straps. And then obviously you can wear it on your shoulder um, or crossbody even if your strap's long enough. And again, you can even kind of use it as a clutch if you wanted to. I know clutches tend to be really popular at the moment so you could sort of just carry it underneath if you really wanted to they really are a lovely lovely bag and i i really really craved i don't know why um since we've been in lockdown i really craved some like vintage louis vuitton so much and i wanted one that i could sort of do up a bit and then i have got a lot of um bag charms and 
like twillies and stuff so you can make your bag look really fancy but because a lot of my handbags are special editions with like fancy print on them then you don't necessarily want to put like a bag charm on it because then it looks too much so I thought well if I've got an old plain sort of Louis Vuitton then I can put my bag charms and stuff on it and then it doesn't look too much so I hope that kind of makes sense but I also wanted a project as well so it will be really interesting to see how we can clean this up so this is my little unboxing my little lockdown treat so obviously they're not really really expensive so you can sort of enjoy it and I'll enjoy the process of doing it up. I just can't wait. I can't wait to get cleaning it up. I really, really enjoy doing it. So obviously I'll make a separate video on it, but this is the actual unboxing of the lovely little vintage Louis. So I hope you enjoyed it. So many, many thanks for joining me. Um, and if you did enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So um, leather care bag video will be coming very soon when I've got all my products and stuff together that I want to put on it. So many thanks for watching. Bye.